Hey guys, and welcome back to Adaptive Humanity. Where we dare you to adventure beyond your limitations. Finally on the road again, and we are at... Silver Springs State, State Park. Park. <laughs> Just west of Ocala, which is basically the very middle of Florida, and it is gorgeous. And if you can't tell, we are floating down the river. Roll the footage. Ready? <laughs> We're gonna be like you guys when we grow up. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> listen, listen, Linda. But Linda, honey, just fish, fishy fishies. This is also why I wanted to sit on one. I wanted my legs to get some sun. I like these giant. They look like elephant ears. I love them. I like the giant one. Oh, look at the turtle. He's big. Oh, yeah. Wow. Someone told us they were like, yeah, there's a, ba there's a baby gator up there. I heard baby gator. I don't know if it's that, that one, but that one is not a baby. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting close to the gator. I don't wanna, I don't wanna. Speed up. I don't like alligators. I don't like sharks or gators. I don't want to get eaten. He's hidden in there. Minding his own business. Looking at you like, stop watching me pee. <laughs> it's at least half the size of our kayaks. It's at least five feet long. That's as big as me, essentially. That is not a baby. What? That ain't no motherfucking baby. baby. All right, let's. I'm gonna get the phone camera. Get um, portrait mode would be good for that one, but also use all the different angles. I'm just telling you, I'm trying to make you a well-rounded photographer. You have an excellent photographer for you. Oh, look at this little turtle guy. Look. Nature. Hi, buddy. Hello, little dude. Hi. This is like turtle paradise. <laughs> Spook them upwards? I think those fish are too big for you, dude. You sure he's not like just taking a bath? We've gotten so many compliments on our yaks. I am thankful for today, because even though we have this storm coming through, the universe gave us this wonderful day for us to come out here. One of the other things I like about adventuring is the, the people. You know, like everybody's just happy. Except for that first guy that said hello to us. I said hello, or some, I don't know. I think he said hello first. And you said, how are you doing? And he's like, I'm alive. Yeah. And I'm like, you you mean you're living, dude. Look at this. I'm like you can't be can't be unhappy being here. Beautiful. Could be worse though, I guess.
Yeah. Barbara Manatee. So when the boats are rocking, don't come in and knocking. <laughs> okay, I have to sucker. And time to bail. Storms are coming in. Storms are coming! Oh god! Stop! So yes, that sky is dark. And yes, we're doing it anyway. Because ain't nobody got time for that. Adventures out there, you know? We don't put limits on our adventures. Neither should you. I already predict that Matt's gonna get upset. We'll see. Near the key? Say hi to great thing. Silver Spring. So this is what the entrance looks like for the walking through the park. Wow, that one worked. Thank you. Come on, buddy. Today, today is a perfect day to bring your dog to this park because the sun is not beating down, creating a very hot surface on the concrete for your puppy's paws. Um, the best way to tell if it's too hot for your puppy's paws is put your human paws on the ground. And if it's like, ooh, be considerate of your baby. And let me tell you, this video has been hard to film because again, we have another hurricane. There's been what, 19 of them now or 20 of them or something like that? Record. So we just been getting pounded with the rain every day. To go out for like a couple hours where we don't have any rain, try to do some stuff. And we've seen an opportunity today. So we're like, all right, let's make a run for it. So we're gonna do a quick walk through the place. A lot of their shops are closed. All of their shops are closed. Besides the pretzel lady. Pretzel lady pretzels. is still open. I have to have a pretzel. Pretzels? Cheers! Run. What was that? So the one cool thing here is so they don't pollute, all their tour boats are electric. So that's pretty awesome. Sorry, the video is bouncy. One-legged guy with the camera. Work out through the well for some more video. A lot of damn fish. They're big ones too. They're big ones. I don't know if you can see those, but if you know what type of fish those are, leave it down in the comments below because we couldn't figure it out yesterday. And they all kind of look the same. They're all like a bluish tint. No idea. But if you know, put it down below. Uh, we'd be interested to, to find out. Skibby wants to find some lizards. Skippy doesn't think lizards are friends. He thinks they're food. Plus, I think it's the only thing he can chase that he knows isn't going to beat him up. It's the only thing he's not scared of. Right, Skip? All right, so side note. Everything here is pretty much handicapped accessible. You can get in with a wheelchair. They got paved walking paths, even the bridges, ramps on everything. Bathrooms are handicapped accessible. Uh, they even have, at the very beginning, free wheelchairs. So if you don't have a wheelchair and you're going to be doing a lot of walking, think you might need one, they have them up front, no charge. Uh, just make sure you clean them. Who knows who's been inside of those. But anyway, they're free. So that's pretty cool. like that. So when we were kayaking, we heard monkeys. There are monkeys here. Allegedly. Some story. Yeah, some story. A guy brought them over here a long time ago, back in... 1800s because he wanted to build a wildlife park and he heard that monkeys couldn't swim so if you put the monkeys on an island they just stay on the island so there's monkeys all over the place i've seen pictures of said monkeys 
We did hear the monkeys while we were on the kayaks. They're loud and they were howling and acting a fool, but we did not see monkeys. So if you guys have ever been here, Silver Springs, and have seen the monkeys, put it in the comments below and email us a picture. We want to see them. Uh, hopefully we can run into one today, but I'm told that they hide pretty well. They tend to stick to themselves. Send us pictures. We want to see the monkeys. That's where you go to think about life choices. Seriously? He's like a drunk human. Have to pee every five minutes, even though something doesn't come out. This is the wildflower garden. I think they named it that way. So that way they just didn't have to pull the weeds in here and they can say that it's wildflowers. But really they're lazy and just don't want to pull weeds. I'm going with that option. Okay. So we put a sign out front that says wildflower. Everybody will believe us. So there are monkeys. The rumors are true. If you feed a monkey, 60 days in jail, 500 bucks. All right, maybe it is worth it. Feed the monkeys, but just get pictures because you're going to want to remember. I don't think so. The time before your 60 days in jail and when you were $500 richer. So I know we were on the kayaks. We came up to here. There was a, a little alligator tucked into here. So. And I think there's even an alligator sign out here on this busted dock area. I take no risks. <laughs> He's mine. All right, so we're just talking. <laughs> this is a beautiful place. Don't don't get us wrong. On, it's been it's very peaceful well preserved. It's and quiet. But it's boring. So. <laughs> If you just want to have some time to go for a reflection yeah. on your life, yeah, then a place to do it and just to be alone. But in the water, right. that's a different story. Definitely do the kayaking or canoeing if you come. You can rent a kayak, you can rent a canoe, single person, double person, and then go down the, the creek. Definitely much better than the nature walk. But it's still cool. There's still a lot of things. It's kind of like an outside museum, and we've decided we're not museum people. If you dig plants, this is your thing. They got tons of them. So this place is cool. Uh, wish the shops were open, take you guys in there, but because of COVID, all the shops are closed, which I don't the blame them. ghost them. town. Uh, glass bottom boat tours, they're pretty cool. You can actually see right in, and it's nice because the water's crystal clear. But if you definitely want to get a, a nice little relaxing tour, we did not do that because of COVID. But after COVID, check it out. Definitely rent the kayaks. That That's worth doing. You, you'll spend hours out there before you even realize it. And it's real easy paddling. When you get out to the river, uh, it's a little bit harder paddling because you're fighting the current and if it's a little windy, but it's not not overly strenuous. If you stay up close to the banks, you can, you can do it without a problem. But here's a boat going out now. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And subscribe and share with your friends. Sharing's caring guys. Hello. <laughs> your friends want to see us. Yes. Everybody should want to see us. Duh. <laughs> make sure you hit that bell. That way you get notified every time we come out with a new video. We'll catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.